Hey everybody, today's video I wanted to talk about the top six features of the Panasonic GH5 that I enjoy the most. Couldn't do just five, so I had to squeeze one more in there. Top six features, here we go. First feature that I absolutely love about this camera is the flip out screen. This flip out screen makes it very easy to do vlogs and record yourself as well as being able to, even when you set it on a tripod and you're doing some type of video of yourself, if you choose to do that, you can actually look at yourself and see yourself, which I think is a very, very convenient thing to do. And I wish more manufacturers have that. And the touch screen on it is, is a plus as well too, so you can do what you need to do with that. So moving on, number five, the actual real live dual card slots that this thing has. It takes two SD cards and they're pretty fast. And to be able to do relay recording on this, when you know one card's pretty much done filling up, it just goes to the next card and it doesn't stop. You can pull out one SD card, pop another one in and keep going. I think that's a really good plus for this camera. And I just enjoy it. Number four, the unlimited recording now many dslrs and mirrorless cameras today that are meant primarily or at least shaped like um, cameras that you take pictures with have a 29 minute and 59 second record limit does this have to do with the technology built in no it just has to do with some european tax law that actually affects the end user camera so Panasonic says the heck with that this camera does amazing video and we're not going to limit it to just a half hour recording so they put in here limitless recording if you've got this hooked up to power and you've got the SD cards just hot swapping constantly you can record hours I don't know who would want to do that but it at least gives you the possibility of doing that um, it's funny I'm talking about this camera that I've got a Canon lens on it Metal bones adapter, but anyway. Um, number three, the video recording modes that you have built in from 4K 60p to 4K 30 at 10 bit 422. You've got 180 frames of slow motion at full HD. I mean, it's a packed powerhouse when it comes to the ability to shoot different modes for different situations and editing and post when you've got those 10-bit 422 files. That in itself make this a worthy, affordable camera that will give you high quality footage. It's, it's definitely a plus. Number two, VLOG. Sure, you've got to pay an extra $100 to get the actual code for VLOG, but VLOG gives you the ability to have extended dynamic range on your shots. And you could set a number of LUTs or custom color yourself to your heart's content when it comes to vlog and really get that look that you're aiming for and to have that in an affordable camera like this is just a huge plus so definitely and here we go the number one feature as to why i love this camera it's got to be the in-body stabilization the in-body stabilization makes it so easy to lean on yourself when you've got no ability. You're not on a tripod, you don't have a gimbal, or even with a gimbal, you combine a gimbal with in-body stabilization of this camera, and you can get some amazing shots with little to no shake. And I've relied on it for a couple of shoots, and I can honestly tell you that it's one of, if not my favorite feature. In fact, it's why it's number one. It's my favorite feature of this camera and it's basically the reason why I wanted to buy this camera apart from the other reasons that I listed before this. So let me know what you guys like about this camera or if you have any questions about the GH5. I'll answer in the comments below and as always like, share and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. See you guys later.